My name is Clay Newcomb and I'm the publisher of Bear Hunting Magazine. It's summertime here in the Ozarks. I just got back from British Columbia and we're going to talk about the correct way to square a bear and who you can trust when it comes to the truth about Bear Square. Last week we gave away one of our new Bear Hunter hats. This week we're going to do it again. Leave a comment and we'll send it out to somebody. Who do y'all think? Who do y'all think should get it? Uh, I don't know who the name is. <laughs> Jed, while I was up in BC, I really realized that hunters are kind of finicky and sometimes we're a little bit insecure and maybe just not even honest with ourselves. So it's time we get honest. And I'm going to tell these people the truth about Bear Square. Do people even care about Bear Square? Man, it's hot. Maybe if we sold a few more subscriptions, we'd be able to turn on the air conditioner here at the Global Headquarters. There's many different ways to evaluate the size of a bear. Number one would be skull, number two would be weight, and number three, which is probably very common, is the square of the bear. A lot of people don't understand square. There's a lot of different methods of square, and there's a lot of variables in squaring a bear between different people. But in general, the way that you're gonna do it is you're gonna take a bear, that a green hide, and you're gonna measure, basically you're gonna get the wingspan of that bear hide. That's one measurement. The second measurement is gonna be from the tip of the nose to the base of the tail. And you're gonna take those two measurements, you're gonna divide it by two, and you're gonna get a square. The magic number in bear hunting is a seven foot bear. That's what you hear a lot of people talk about. Also, you know, a six foot bear is like a really respectable bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute, Dad. You've killed tons of big bears. You've killed a 500 pounder, a 435 pounder, but not once have you ever killed a bear that squared over seven foot. My point is that a bear over six foot is a whopper and a bear over six and a half foot is a giant. It's easy to throw around numbers, but that's the way you do it. The wingspan of the bear, and the length of the bear, divided by two. Claw to claw with a little bit of a, little bit of a tug. Well, I'm getting 83 inches which is an inch under seven foot. And then let's go from base of the tail to the tip of the nose. Okay, and I've got uh, six one. All right, so that's the, the average of six one and six eleven is basically gonna be right at six and a half foot. So this is a six and a half foot square bear. Cool. So here's the deal about squaring a bear. There's not many people that you can trust. We're at bear camp here in British Columbia, and we've decided that number one, you cannot trust a friend. Let's say there's a friend with you on a bear hunt, and let's say you killed a five and a half foot bear. When I get back to Arkansas, wherever I'm from, maybe I'm gonna tell your family there's a six foot bear, or maybe I'm jealous and I'm gonna tell your family it's a five foot bear. I've got skin in the game. I either want you to succeed or I don't. And so basically my judgment is biased and I'm not gonna give a good square. So people are gonna be like, how big was Daniel's bear? And I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna tell him a lie. You better tell him the right lie. <laughs> okay, but you can't trust the outfitter either. Jerks. So you talk to the outfitter, what size square bear? Oh, we killed. <laughs> I'm an outfitter. The bear's here, are huge. So what would you say Clay's bear squared? Uh, it was a, I don't know, pretty decent one. Seven and a half foot? Well, maybe a little bit bigger than that, but not by much. <laughs> can't trust them. Don't trust them. Okay, so that's the second person. You can't trust your friends, you can't trust the outfitter, you can't trust yourself. You find me in Arkansas at like the feed store and ask me, Clay, how big was the bear you killed in British Columbia? I kind of stutter a little bit and I'm like, oh, it was dang near seven foot. You lie at a feed store. <laughs> I would. Well, I, no, I would. <laughs> you just said it. So, so it's like, 
And so the only person that we have decided that you can trust when it comes to the accurate measurement of the bear square when you're in bear camp is the cook. The cook. Dave the cook. He got no skin in the game. Dave. He doesn't know your family. He's not trying to make his bear camp look good. He's not your friend, that's for sure. That, I never liked him. The bear, the cook. And oftentimes it's a woman. In this camp it's a man. Doesn't matter. Man or woman. Cooks are You honest. can trust them. So that's why at Bear Hunting Magazine, we're starting a new column. The Cook's Column. The truth about bear hunting. Here's to the cooks. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. Okay, uh, my name's Dave Caldwell. I'm the uh, cook at the bear camp. I have uh, been asked to uh, verify the measurements on the bears. Uh, the one bear is a little over a five foot square, and the big, big bear is <laughs> six foot five square. So there it is, the official untainted truth. So, five and a half six, so technically, that's a just under six foot bear. Here's the thing, though, in Canada, they've got no pennies. You have to round up. That's a true story. We don't what do you think, Dave? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You nope. stand there, you always round up. That's what the government does, so so do we. Well, that's what Dave told us. Yep, yep. You heard from the cook himself. And we know we can trust cooks. So that right. means we got a six and a seven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's getting better all the time. Man, what a great week. Yep, a six footer and a seven footer. Yes, all kids. in two days. Yep. Can you imagine if we actually hunted? But yeah, that's right. <laughs> All joking aside, I've decided that a six foot six bear is not one that I'm gonna pass anytime soon. And we really value integrity. And I just wanna make clear that Dev and Jewel, Pacific Bear Outfitters, are great folks and they've got some great bears. Thanks for joining the conservation this week at the Bear Hunting Magazine Global Headquarters. Leave a comment why you want one of these hats and keep the wild places wild. Good job, boys, let's roll. <laughs> My name is Clay Newcomb and I'm the publisher of Bear Honey Magazine. The reason that I lie about the size of my bear is I have a reputation to uphold. I have a lot of motivation to stretch the truth, but I did just kill a seven foot plus black, actually closer to seven and a half foot plus black bear here and uh, you'll read about it in the magazine. That may have got a little too real. <laughs> that was hard to tell you where lying. <laughs> that's actually perfect though, because that's what it should be. Okay.